clean air. It's something we all love about our region. But to maintain Metro Vancouver's air quality, we need to measure it. 31 permanent monitoring stations between Horseshoe Bay and Hope make up the backbone of the Lower Fraser Valley Air Quality Monitoring Network. Comprehensive air quality monitoring provides the foundation for all Metro Vancouver air quality programs. This allows improvements to be tracked and new issues to be identified. Each station is uniquely positioned to assess key features of the region's air shed. The buildings are fairly basic looking structures, except for the array of interesting looking instruments on the roof. Along with a mobile unit, they collect a lot of data. The rooftop sensors and air inlets collect samples every second, constantly drawing air down into units like these inside each station. From there, specialized instruments identify and measure the gases and particulates in the air. We're measuring common air contaminants. So those are uh, the gases which include carbon monoxide, uh, ground level ozone, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. We're also measuring particles, so we're measuring the very small particles in the air. To better interpret those samples, stations like this one in Abbotsford also record weather information like wind speed and direction, temperature and humidity. All that data comes back to head office as well in real time, so minute by minute uh, one of our analysts can be at their desk looking at the data that's coming in and uh, determining what, if anything, needs to happen. If pollutant levels rise above Metro Vancouver's air quality objectives at a station, staff quickly investigate and, in some cases, an air quality advisory may be issued. Seven cameras are located between Chilliwack and Lions Bay, taking skyline photos about once an hour. The images are regularly posted on Clear Air BC, an online visual air quality resource which provides comparison examples for visual air quality. Regional air quality is not something that we can always control. Outside factors such as extreme heat, forest fires, and weather patterns can have a negative impact on our local air, despite best efforts to limit harmful emissions. But with careful monitoring and appropriate measures, we can reduce the impacts on our health, economy, and quality of life. To learn more about our air quality monitoring programs, please visit the Air Quality and Climate Change section of the Metro Vancouver website.